<clears throat> first let me get to the course I made uh, I think I'm gonna make uh, two other courses probably both in the Super Mario Bros theme in the Super Mario Bros set you know uh, as it is the one I do prefer but then again I do kind of like the music I, I, I like the music from Super Mario World's uh, castle a little bit more speaking of music rainbow ride music I might actually make a rainbow ride kind of level but this little snippet is pretty cool reminiscent of the big house in the sky and down it goes and if you are riding on it you'll go into this so there's like the one up and the star but uh, since since the uh, the athletic theme or the uh, the sky theme of um, of this oh dear oh dear <laughs> I have a big Bowser at the end of this it's not super long though so I'll be over pretty soon so here we go on to here. I guess it's technically possible to skip everything and go. Un oh my god. Maybe I will go under some of this stuff. Under it. You know, into the into the floorboards. <laughs> That's a that'd be a funny trick. Let me see. I I never really tried that out. Well, I guess I can't now. But uh, the idea behind this stage really was because the athletic theme in, uh, in Super Mario World is very heavy on the piano. So I figured, hey, I'll have a, uh, a level that's kind of based on the piano. Like a saloon where people are having drinks. They're totally not alcohol. What are you, what are you kidding? Absolutely not. I would never make such a reference to such a thing. Alright, give me that. There we go. Now, here's a Bowser fight. It's actually kind of interesting. It's... It's actually technically... Skippable. Come to think of it. I have a, you know, I have a pipe there. Uh, with those big jumps, he's actually kind of dangerous. So that's a... Bit of an odd situation. There's actually a trick to this. Yeah, you push down. And you go into into that. Now, uh, this is just a way to make sure you're not still in that shell thing, you know, because that would make it a little too easy. And instead of using that to defeat the Wigglers, we got this. Oh boy, a little dangerous here. Not much of an airship, really. Just kind of the, uh, the, the cargo hold of this, you know, this, this restaurant, the saloon in the sky. I have, uh, I have tree trunks, by the way. Tree trunks as the, uh, the background there. So that, you know, when you, when you're inside, basically, you are not looking at, uh, you're not looking at the sky, the, the clouds and all that. Now let's go to some download courses, double check that I am recording, and let's go, um, you know, maybe, yeah, I think next time I get back to this game, I'll probably have, like, a couple of levels, like, uh, you know, one for these, maybe I'll make a Super Mario Bros. 3 level, come to think of it, to go along with these ones, uh, but for now, we're going to Chain Chunk Temple. I actually do have another of uh, of these, but this stage, this stage is kind of like, it has different kinds of music, like, you know, one part, there's like a little boss fight, so there's that music, uh, and then there's probably like a heartbeat element to it, but uh, here we go, Chain Chunk Temple. This is actually my favorite new music in the game. The um, I'm not sure if it's accordion, but that like that little bit, that little bit of music at the beginning, I really like that. 
So this is uh, kind of a you know, stage that's got a couple of gauntlets to go through. Interesting way of uh, making you go through. I mean, usually you go from left to right, but now you're going right to left. Jumping over the chain chomps. I'm not sure if uh, spin... I keep forgetting... Uh, well, you can spin jump on them, but I keep forgetting that you can't actually duck under them. You have to run through there, I guess. Ah. For once, an icicle is actually useful. Yeah, that kind of accordion you just heard. I like that. Although, I don't know. Maybe I'll make one in the uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 tile set and then have the other one for that. Because, as you can see, this this uh, this set kind of looks like a, like a, <clears throat> a rather rocky desert. Like, say, uh, like the Arabian Desert. Ah, dang it. Um, so it doesn't really fit with the kind of desert level that I would make. But there you go. There I have it. Do they... Oh. So I think in the original Super Mario World, if you hit a, if you hit like one of those spinning blocks, uh, and then the P-Switch stopped working, or stop doing its thing, then it would still, it, it would still be spinning. Or, the blocks would have turned into hard blocks, I, that's possible. Like, you know, blocks were, like, they give something, like, like this, like this thing. Alright. Oh, I love my helmets. I think I can actually... Well, that was not the best way to go about that, but it was the quickest. Bye-bye, Yoshis. I gotta finish a level. And now we have Flooded Ghost House. Now this one has a couple of night themes. Where everything's very dark. And also has... It also has a certain um, music track that goes along the whole, the whole thing, which... I mean, it, it actually is pretty good music, I, I gotta admit. But, um... Actually, come to think of it, I guess it's better than the, um, than what usually comes out, the, um... Because, <clears throat> the, the thing, the, the only thing I don't like about, uh, maybe, perhaps this game in general, is that every night theme stage has, um, like, this, they all have the same, uh, instrumentation, like this kind of music box playing, uh, I'll... Maybe I don't have one of those here, but I'll show you... I'll show you a level with a night theme that uh, doesn't have that. I just gotta get through here first. Oh boy. Oh, I kind of forget how dangerous this can be. This is actually the underwater set, if you couldn't really tell, because, I mean, there is a lot of water. Oh, boy. And, uh, another thing is, um, yeah, well, that's basically it. I was, oh, you can see in the background, like, it's gotten kind of brighter. But still a dark blue. It's not the light blue that you usually see in a stage that has, um, you know, in, in an underwater part. Down we go again. 
Not so much of a ghost house as it is just, you know, a house full of traps. And it doesn't really have uh, puzzles like a, uh, you know, ghost house in Super Mario World would have. I do kind of like the uh, the you know the the spotlight effect though, and that how how you can change that to you know not look so dark. Uh, oh yeah, I think this one has uh, a night theme, of course, right? <clears throat> so you'll hear the difference. Yeah, you hear that music box. Every every night theme level, unless you change the music, has um, has this music. So here we are. I decided to you know get a. Um, I actually kind of went for a stage like this for for some reason. I do kind of like this uh, this music. Like it's it's basically my favorite of the night theme. Uh, sounds, I mean the, you know, music tracks. <laughs> uh, so funny to see all those things just spinning around, falling in. This actually isn't that hard of a level, so if you want to play with a friend, this is a pretty good one uh, to get to. Ah, uh, but this part. Although this part splits off, so if you want to play with a friend or two, yeah, you can kind of take uh, take uh, take in uh, two different paths. Of course, if you're playing with three other people, you know, playing as a total of four, then it might be a little more tricky. Pow block. I'd say this is my favorite, like, uh, jungle theme in general, too. I'm not really fond of the jungle theme in uh, Super Mario Bros. <clears throat> and, uh, nor am I really fond of the, uh, let me see if I can get up here. These pesky flowering Goombas. There we go. Um, what was I saying? I, I'm not really fond of the sky theme in Super Mario Bros. either. It's just kind of derivative, you know? It's derivative of the, uh, of the other music. Of, um, of the bonus music, I guess. You know, that was added with Super Mario Maker 1. But, um... Oh. Well, so much for that. Wait, is that... Huh, I guess it's just when you come out of the door, or something, that the music changes. Down they go. Um... Although, having, ha having music that I don't really like there... Oh, look at that, you can just jump up at that. Uh, having music that I'm not really fond of in the super new like the like the the new music for Super Mario Bros. One at least it's like better than with Super Mario Bros. Three because that one seems to take the desert theme like it, it has like Super Mario Bros. Three has no desert theme and it uh, has no something else I just left a Super Mario Bros. Three level with the Super Mario World levels. Well, look at me. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll throw in another um, world level. I'm sure I can find one. Yeah, let's look for one. Of course, world. Let's do a detailed search. Super Mario World. Uh, let's go with a castle. I have a few airships already, so let's go for for some uh, castle action. 
That isn't a rather dumb kind of level. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds look, looks looks too hard. Hmm. Well, this one looks interesting. It's not too hard, I suppose. The Sinking Citadel. Now, this is one I haven't played yet. There we go. Okay. I like how the cannons shoot, uh, they shoot coins instead of dangerous things like a, like a floating spiny or something. Now that would, that would make sense. Oh my. Okay. Okay. And we start from the beginning. Okay. Maybe there's, well, there's a one up. So if you're playing on your, uh, if you're playing a, um, one of those versions of the game, or of like the endless, if you're, yeah, an endless challenge. If you're doing an endless challenge, uh, it gives you a little leg up in case you mess up a few times. Alright. Uh, oh boy. Close one. Oh, and it doesn't end. The sinking keeps on going. It's an interesting idea. Oh boy. A scary one, though. Oh boy. And we have this now. Uh, alternating flamethrowers. What next? I thought I was supposed to get a mushroom from that. Oh well. I uh, hit it. No! Ah. Uh, I needed a running jump. Well, this, this level does have some uh, ample checkpoints. So that is uh, quite nice. Oh, wow. I just broke those other ones. It's just spinning away. Uh, am I... Was I here before? Nope, this is different. Oh. And that's it. Hmm. Ba -ba -da. I think I got a text message. No. Okay. Oh, I heard something, though. Alright. I like it. So what I usually do is uh, download when I like level. And then I... Oh, wait, wait. Here. There. 